Joining us now is one of over 300 charities and nonprofits supported on the Shared Detroit platform. We're joined by Irene Watts, the Director of Development at the Arc of Northwest Wayne County, joining us on the Megacast. Irene, thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Tyler. Thanks for having me. Appreciate having you on. So first off, I'll give us a little bit of background information. Tell us about the Arc of Northwest Wayne County and the services that it provides in Wayne County. Yeah, so um, the Arc of Northwest Wayne County um, was established in 1961. Um, it was by a group of parents who wanted to um, guarantee that their children in the school systems had an equity, uh, had equity in the classroom. Um, the ARC itself is a national organization. So if you think about the Red Cross, the way that they have a national organization with chapters, um, the ARC is set up the same way, um, but our mission is to support individuals with uh, intellectual and physical disabilities, um, ranging from um, birth uh, to death. So those parents decided in 1961 that they wanted to have the same sort of quality education for their children. Um, and since then, we've been going 61 years strong. Um, and some of those programs that I was just uh, mentioning, um, starting at birth, um, we have the only kind of its, the only kind of its uh, uh, sort of construction in the state of Michigan. It's called a Lecotech program, which means absolutely nothing to most people. Um, but the meaning is toy and play. So uh, the only kind of its state is a toy lending library. Um, so every month. Um, just like you, when you go to the library, you can check out books, you can check out toys. So parents, for those parents who have maybe um, children with disabilities, you know, toys are expensive. And sometimes the box is more uh, enjoyable than the toy itself. And so you waste all of this money, right? You think you waste all of this money and it's the toy that they, it's the box that they play with. Um, so what we do is we kind of alleviate that sort of financial um, burden that toys can sometimes come with, especially if they're designed for children with disabilities, um, that kind of increases the price tag. So what we have here in our Redford office, we have 2,000 toys, and the program is geared from zero, and we have some children who've kind of, maybe they're just north of 13 years, but they still wanna come back, and they can come to our building. They have an hour of a play session, therapy session, and moms, dads, uncles, cousins can come and bring that child. Uh, they can come and play with that, those toys for an hour, and they leave with six toys. So they can choose whatever six, six toys they want. They take it home for a month, and then they come back, they come back for another play session and they can return home with another six toys. Um, so we're really proud of that. It, like I said, it's the only kind of it in its state. Um, and right now we service all of Wayne County. Um, and our goal because of COVID, uh, there were some restrictions in terms of how comfortable parents were with that. So we're looking to hopefully expand it and turn it into a mobile toy lending library so that we can come to where that child is. Because sometimes we know those um, transitions from home might be a little bit difficult for parents. Um, so that's, that's our one hope. COVID has kind of taught us that we need to meet our, our students where they are. Um, outside of that, speaking of students, we have an education advocacy program. So we have two full-time social workers. So for parents who have maybe just recently found out um, that their student or their child was diagnosed with a uh, disability, it can be extremely overwhelming. I myself have just recently gone through this um, and it's, it's very overwhelming. Um, so we work with the state agency, Michigan Alliance for Families, and they will refer us, uh, refer parents to us who may need a little bit extra in terms of advocacy, not knowing what those, that language looks like. A lot of times with special ed, they, uh, the vernacular that they use during those meetings can be extremely overwhelming. And we know that parents are a little gun shy. They say, well, what does that word mean? Um, so we, we help parents turn themselves into their child's best advocate. Um, so if anyone had any issues with an IEP or just not knowing, um, we refer them to Michigan Alliance for Families. And if they would, they, if they need additional clarification or additional advocacy, we are here to provide that for them. Um, that service is to our six uh, location or our six cities that we help um, navigate that process with, and that's uh, Redford, Garden City, Northville, Redford, um, Plymouth, and Canton. I'm pretty sure maybe I missed Livonia. Um, but we also do some in Dearborn and Dearborn Heights. Um, the next one that we have is a financial management service. Uh, we're one of four agencies in Wayne County that offer this. And what that means is that if you are an individual with that receives Medicaid funds, we advocate and we were the first, actually the first um, person that was 
self-determined was from our office. And what that means is that as an individual, you can control what you would like your week to look like. And so we advocate and we help that individual say, maybe, you know, maybe for this month, I would really like to volunteer at an animal shelter. Um, maybe I want to take classes at Schoolcraft College, um, but maybe you can't drive. So what we help with financial management services is that we will put them with somebody that is a person-centered planner, planner, a social worker that says, okay, based on what you would like to do for this week or this month, this is what your schedule would look like. And let's fill that in and say like, this is where you need a driver. Maybe you would need somebody to help you with your classwork. Maybe you need a housekeeper. Where would you like to live? And we take those Medicaid dollars and say, okay, this is where those Medicaid dollars that you receive from the federal government would pay. What our financial management service then does is we are the HR person for that individual. So we do all of their payroll. So they, in essence, become an employee or employer. They can choose their employees. We can help them as well. But we will do all of their financial um, transactions. We will help them pay all of their employees. We will do their workman comp. So as an individual, it can be overwhelming, but we take that burden off. So we're one of the four in, the, uh, in Wayne County that offer that. Um, and then part of that is also our self-determination is called our GAIN program, but we help individuals decide like, what does that self-determination look like? Maybe they don't wanna be put in a group home. Maybe they wanna be able to have maybe an apartment with two other friends. Um, so we help facilitate that conversation and say, what is gonna be your best life and what does that look like for you? So again, kind of having that conversation with that person and not dictating to them, but having that conversation with them. Um, and then a couple more things, uh, we have a social club, a Just Fun Club, so those who are 16 and over. Uh, it is a monthly club. COVID's kind of put a pause on it, but they have monthly dances, they'll get together for breakfast to really give them that safe space where they can have uh, conversations and relationships with other people in their community. More information um, can be, oh, oh, please continue. Oh, no, I'm sorry, we have two, two more really quick ones. We have an athletic program. So we work with Special Olympics of Michigan um, and we have various bowling, softball, track, swimming, um, and other uh, athletic programs for athletes as well. And then lastly, um, the conversation that probably most people don't wanna have is called our After I'm Gone program. So it facilitates those conversations that say, you know, if you're living with your, if you have a child with a disability, what were to happen if you passed? So to kind of have, no, nobody wants to have that conversation, but I think it's important that we have that conversation, especially when we're dealing with uh, individuals with disabilities. So those are our programs in a nutshell. More information can be found on the arcnw.org. That's the arcnw.org for more information from the Arc of Northwest Wayne County and we're joined by Irene Watts from the Arc of Northwest Wayne County on the Michigan Megacast. Irene, there's so many great resources, so many different uh, great programs that have a number of different effects on the day-to-day -day life and certainly the long-term life of these individuals with disabilities and certainly on their family at large. But how do these families then tap into these resources? How do they go about obtaining these services? What sort of requirements or steps are involved? I would say the best thing to do is call our office because the Medicaid system can be extremely overwhelming and a lot of people just don't know where to start. Um, I would say call our office. A lot of our advocates are very knowledgeable to the Medicaid system. They themselves have maybe uh, children with disabilities, so they've been it through them themselves. So they kind of have like the shortcuts um, and the intrinsic, intrinsic knowledge to know how to navigate the system. So when in doubt, either reach out to us through our Facebook page call our office and then we would be able to help facilitate and navigate that system with you and say like, maybe you need to first go to this agency. Um, but it's extremely overwhelming. And I think it, it, you know, part of it is too, it's the emotional process of trying to navigate this and knowing that you're not by yourself, you're not alone. Um, so let us, you know, let our, our employees here help you out with that. More information in the arcnw.org, the arcnw.org, and the phone number 313-532-7915. That's 313-532-7915 to get in contact with the ARC of Northwest Wayne County for more information on how you can tap into these programs. Uh, so many services provided by the ARC to so many different families, that, but they are costly services and they do involve uh, a need for great help from the community, and one of the many ways they can do it is by supporting the ARC's events. You have an event coming up in August, Saturday, August 14th, at Whispering Willows Golf Course. You will have your ARC of Northwest Wayne County 2022 golf outing. Tell us about this event and how people can participate. 
Yeah, definitely. So this is a golf outing that we've probably been doing for probably two decades now. Um, and we wanted to be able to have an opportunity for, again, for our donors to come together, for our corporate sponsors, and just for our families. So we have a lot of families that have been through our program that, you know, when their kids were in elementary school, that they're now, you know, grown adults. Um, so it gives us a sense of community. Um, but yeah, so we will be having our annual golf outing. It'll be at Whispering Willows. Um, registration can be found online. Um, we'll have a raffle to go with it. Um, it'll be my first year, but there'll be, uh, it'll be a good time from what I'm hearing from everybody else. Um, it'll be a scramble. So if you're not a golfer, do not worry. Um, I'm not a golfer, but I do love a good scramble. Um, and it'll be 18 holes. Um, and like I said, then there'll be a raffle at the end, but all of the funds will go to support many of these various programs that you're hearing about now. YarkNW.org is where you can find more information on everything provided through the Arc of Northwest Wayne County and to find more information on their golf outings that will happen on August 14th at Whispering Willows Golf Course. Uh, more information, again, the ArcNW.org. That's the ArcNW.org. What other ways can people support the organization and the programs that it has? Are there volunteer opportunities as well? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's always volunteer opportunities. I know with the golf outing, we're definitely looking for some more uh, uh, volunteers. We're hoping to have somebody at every hole that can kind of help explain more, more of these programs to our our guests. Um, we're also, um, we have a monthly newsletter, so we are always looking for volunteers to come and help um, fold those newsletters. And then we'll have more probably opportunities. We did buy a new building, so with that will be new programming. Um, and so we'll be looking and taking the community uh, input to find out what other programming they would like and what volunteer opportunities will come with that. The ArcNW.org is their website. You can also call them at 313-532-7915. That's 313-592-7915. One five. For more information, we're joined by Irene Watts, the Director of Development at the Arc of Northwest Wayne County with us on the Michigan Megacast. Irene, just another couple minutes with you before we'll say goodbye today. Anything else that we haven't discussed yet that, that the audience should know about the services provided by the Arc of Northwest Wayne County or other topics uh, that we haven't talked about yet? Yeah, and I think because of COVID, we've kind of noticed a, a need for mental health. Um, and I think that's one of the things I also wanted to mention, going back to our financial management services. So it's not just limited to individuals with disabilities, but also with individuals with a mental health diagnosis. Diagnosis, apologies. Um, so with that, we are looking to, we're, we're expanding our, our services to help those individuals who may have thought that they were not included. Um, and we just recently did buy a new building. Um, with that new building, um, as I had mentioned before, we will have, um, square footage to be able to offer additional programming that our current building is limited by square footage. So our new building will be, is in Canton, um, and it's almost quadrupled our current square footage. So our grand opening will probably be, give or take, probably around fall time, um, but we'll be offering programming for the entire community, not just individuals with disabilities. Um, and please follow us, I think on our Facebook page, we'll have updates and also on to our website, but we'll have a lot of mental health support systems put in place so that not only can we uh, join together as a community, but you can take those um, techniques and methods home and then the entire family can go ahead and you know whether it's not deep breathing, um, we're gonna have art therapy as well. So we'll be able to collaborate with some of the local colleges to be able to offer uh, additional programming that I think the entire community could be using. Irene, thank you so much for joining us and telling us about all these great programs and activities uh, and, and more that are provided through the Arc of Northwest Wayne County. Thank you.